I'm giving this 2006 Lexus IS250 away completely free. Before this video gets started, I want to give a huge shout out to my brother-in-law and sister for making this possible. I was able to store this car here for months um, at their property, so I just want to give a huge shout out to them. My sister has a small uh, business um, selling strawberries and other desserts for parties and any special occasions. I will link them in the description box below. Make sure you guys follow her Instagram because she made this possible along with her husband. Thank you guys. You guys might remember this car from a previous video. So this car has been sitting for right around a year now and as you can see uh, it's not in the greatest of shape we got some flat tires some rusted out brakes looks like some of the body panels are even uh, coming off we'll go full walk around here i'll show you guys the inside in a second same thing on this side we got a little bit of uh chipping of the plastic dip that i put on there a little bit of rust overall i think the car is in pretty good shape this rim uh, i was driving i hit a nasty pothole living here in chicago so i ordered a new one never got around to plastic dipping it like the other ones but i think that's the least of the worries for this car right now same thing on this side got a little gap there um, but let's hop on inside the car i want to talk to you guys about what's happening to this car all right so let's hop in and i'll show you guys the interior of the car so like i said even the interior is not in terrible shape obviously needs a good cleaning because it has been sitting for a while and it is a used car but overall the car is in pretty good shape let's hop in and I'll show you guys what I mean here's the full interior of the car it's got the gray leather uh, no real tears in the leather or anything like that it just is a used car um, but let me tell you guys about uh, how this car came to be so before I purchased the Lexus, I had a, I think it was a 1994 Toyota Celica. And that was my first car. That car was like it for me. When I got it, I was like, wow, I'm the coolest kid on the block. And I absolutely loved it. Unfortunately, it had a small oil leak that I wasn't aware of. And I was driving on the highway one day and all of a sudden I was pressing on the accelerator and the car would not accelerate. Pulled over to the side of the highway, called my dad. Uh, we came, popped the hood, and there's a hole about this big straight through the engine. I guess the thing was running on no uh, no, no oil and uh, couldn't handle it, obviously. So uh, that car died, and then I went ahead and upgraded to this Lexus. Now, when I got the Lexus, I remember this thing being absolutely next level. Uh, the gauges were super bright. I had paddle shifters. It was rear-wheel drive. This thing was it for me. Um, I did want to do a couple things that I never got around to like uh, putting the GPS system in here Which I thought is a pretty cool upgrade um, among a few other things, but uh, Overall, I really love this car The only real issue I had with it was living here in Chicago The winters get pretty bad and this car is rear-wheel drive So whenever it would snow and I'd drive this car as soon as you get on it a little bit the car would start going uh, Sideways, so I definitely did not want my wife or kids or anybody to be in this car uh, in the winter time because it is dangerous um, but let's hop out i want to show you guys the back seat as well still got some stuff in there i got to clean up but the reason i'm doing an update on this car is because something exciting is happening to the lexus it is actually going to be coming back to life However, it's not gonna be on this channel. I'm actually donating this car to another local YouTuber here in the Chicagoland area. This guy is a master mechanic and I have full confidence that he will bring this car back to life. Uh, we will be doing update videos so you guys will get to see what happens with the Lexus. Uh, either way, if he brings it back to life or not. Um, in the next video, make sure you guys stay tuned because in the next video you will see exactly who's picking up this car and uh, see what he's able to do with it. All right, so in order to get the car ready for the person that's coming to pick it up, I'm keeping that a surprise as to who's picking the car up because it is a pretty big deal for my channel. Um, but we have to do a couple things to get the car ready, like get the old license plates off and a couple things like that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so we're gonna pop off the license plate in order to get the car ready. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Wow, this thing is really rusted on there pretty good. Oh, there it is. Wow, the screw actually broke. Take a look at that. All right, so the first screw broke off and I was able to pop it off after a few minutes, but let's try and get the second one off. I'm expecting the same thing here. This one's a little bit easier. All right. Let me 
And just like that, the back plate is off. Let's go ahead and do the front ones now. All right, so check that. The front one is staying on because as you can see, it's pretty close to the fence and I can't sneak in there. Also, it's not the right head. Uh, so I'll just wait till we get the car pulled out. Um, but make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video so you guys can see who's picking the car up. I can't wait to see this thing come back to life and get on the road. Like I said, we'll be doing update videos, so make sure you guys turn on the bell notification and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.